Bill Burr, I remember months ago we were giving him props on the show because he's like the one guy that will never like he'll still alpha dog Joe Rogan. He doesn't give a fuck. Like Joe Rogan was like first start talking starting talking about like Max and how they like restrict your face. And he was like, Would you shut the fuck up, please? I've known you for 30 years and I don't remember you taking seven of them to go to medical school. So would you just shut the fuck up? And I was like, that's hilarious. But nobody talks to Joe Rogan like that on his show. Uh besides Bill Burr, because Bill Burr's a legend. Uh and anyway, and this uh clip he comes out fucking swinging against capitalism i was blown away and stoked to hear it uh i've always been a bill burr fan but i definitely became a bigger one after listening to this clip just because i thought it was so tight uh legendary ranter but uh yeah yeah let's let's take a look here this is super based uh socialism hi bill you redheaded fuck <laughs> i really appreciate the bluntness of that how how are you um last week you mentioned uh, you don't know why people demonize socialism. Um, I was really taken aback at that statement. Oh, Jesus Christ. Every country that has tried socialism has failed. And it's responsible for tens of millions of deaths. All right. So would you say capitalism is working? And is it is not, uh, you know, when like, what is it? Like 99% of the wealth is in like fucking 2% of the people's hands. All of these tent cities, you're telling me this is working? You don't think capitalism is responsible for tens of millions of deaths? Um, anyway, Russia, Germany, China, Cuba, and most recently, Venezuela have tried or right now are socialist countries. Um, as far as I know, whatever Cuba was trying to do, we prevented them from doing with a fucking embargo or whatever the hell we did. We've been fucking with them for 60 years. So I think you're looking at like, you know, like what a lot of people do is you look at your own country through rose colored glasses, the same way you look at your own sports team. Like, Oh, my team doesn't cheat, but your team does. Based based. Yeah. I, and, and I just wanted to point that out because a lot of people who are his age and older, uh, and again, not a, not a fucking, you know, age discriminatory content uh, common it's just the propaganda was so fucking thick for all these people that i imagine that this is like fucking blowing the minds of a lot of his listeners right now that he's like not only has he favorably talked about socialism in the past right uh which he has and you know you can find more clips of on him if you're like bill burr socialism the dude just rants on his podcast so there's basically clips of him talking about everything but i thought that this was particularly worth noting because he goes to bat for cuba which never happens from anybody that is like remotely popular and not cuban right uh, or you know what i mean this guy is huge if he came to uh your city he is playing the biggest venue as a stand-up comedian that's how big of a draw this guy is and he's out there uh saying hey guys like whatever the hell you want to say about cuba like we fucked up whatever they were trying to do uh you know and we fucked up shit all over the place uh so why don't you stop just pretending that america's glamorous and why don't we actually start figuring shit out uh because clearly capitalism isn't working he was like oh is capitalism doing so fucking great chef's kiss perfect response right there flip the script on him bill bill he's a legend you're not going to beat this guy in an argument and I, I would love to have this guy as a vocal mouthpiece for uh uh socialism yeah absolutely and it's just such a good point i mean it's been made over and over again but it's like all of the the failings of socialism are actually directly applicable and evident in a hyper capitalist society like the one that we live in i mean i was reading the other day about like a food bank that had you know, lines around the quarter hours before it even opened every morning. Uh, like that's something you would expect to hear out of like, oh, like back in the USSR, the bread lines, you know, fucking stretched for miles and miles. Like, nope, that's actually under capitalism. Modern day American hyper capitalism um, has a massive, massive amount of people on the streets, as Bill Burr referenced um, the tent cities. I mean, here in Kansas City, there's homeless people all over the place. It's really sad, um, et cetera, et cetera. Like all these issues that people ascribe to cap or sorry, to socialism um, are seen right here at home, but no one ever blames capitalism for those issues happening here. You know, it's just crazy. Yeah. And as a, 
Alex says in the chat, if socialism is, uh, or I, I imagine he's saying if socialism is so bad, then why do capitalists murder and sabotage them all? Like, uh, because they're afraid of it, right? Like, that's why the fuck would we go all the way across the world to Vietnam and try and stop them from having any kind of work or representation? Uh, because if it started there, a lot of other workers were going to get the same idea. Hey, maybe we can just retain the wealth that we are creating with all of our uh, natural resources here on this lovely country and don't have to give it to the Western imperialist. Oh no, can't have people thinking like that. Let's start setting all of their villages on fire and raping their children. Uh, yeah. Oh, but we're the good guys. Yeah. Give me a fucking break. Yeah. And it does look like there's a second clip too, where he talks about the murderous and destructive nature of us imperialism. Um, so let's take a listen to that one too. I haven't seen this part. You're, you're really you're really sort of looking the other way with what capitalism has done to other countries. Um, all the sweatshop labor, all the wars we fought in over air quote freedom, where most of it is about, you know, natural resources, all of these fucking countries where we've gone in and, you know, stuck in heads of the government that are going to do what we want to do so we can fucking take advantage of them. Like, I mean, to sit there and look at capitalism, like, like it's, you know, I don't know, dude. All right. I took off my Bergen stock. So I'm going to read, read the rest of this here. Okay. Socialism all starts the same way. Create a boogeyman. Like also it has to be said that like most of these people simping for capitalists, like th there's no way to know for sure. Obviously the guy that wrote this question and he might be a, a CEO somewhere. He might be, raking in six figures who knows but i think there's a pretty i think it's pretty fair to say that a lot of these people that die on the hill of capitalism that you know love to defend co capitalism and talk shit on socialism they're working nine to five jobs that they hate they're you know wage they're, they're basically taking part in wage slavery um if it weren't for their occupation or their job they probably wouldn't have health care um uh, it's crazy how much of like how much people simp for these systems that oppress them so directly. You know, it, it's crazy that in this country you have to rely on having a job in order to have basic human rights like healthcare. That's insane. And it's directly a product of capitalism, again, which oppresses all of the working class. So uh, the fact that people actually simp for these systems of oppression, it just always blows my mind. Yeah, it reminds me of the Forrest Gump gif where it's like, I'm a capitalist, Forrest. But you ain't got no capital, uh, Lieutenant Dan. Exactly. Also, thank you so much uh, for the five bucks. Uh, capitalism brought us slavery to facilitate the trade of sugar and cotton from America. I mean, yeah, absolutely. 100%. You know, uh, that, that's 100% literal capitalism. And obviously, you know, luckily we don't have slavery the same way now. Um, but now we outsource that slave labor to other countries where, again, maybe the conditions are slightly better, but oftentimes not very meaningfully. You know, if you look at some of the sweatshop labor that Bill Burr referenced in other countries, and obviously, like I said, the wage slavery, which exists now, not to compare that to chattel slavery, um, but still telling someone, hey, like if you don't come to this job from nine to five every single day of the week, except for Saturday and Sunday, you're not going to have a house to live in. You're not going to have food to eat. You're not going to have health care. Like, is that really all that far removed from slavery? Like, I, I don't think so. Corporations, the rich or a race. Oh, yeah, we've never done that in the, this country. We've never created a boogeyman. <laughs> We, yeah, there's never, I mean, Jesus Christ, buddy. Blame them for all your problems. Yeah, we never did that. The leaders then promised to fix all the problems. Oh, boy. Slowly, the government starts to control every aspect of your life. Why does this sound so familiar? Promise that every, I mean, aren't they like recording all our phone conversations now? Uh, we're slowly on our way to getting microchipped. Uh, promise that everybody will have the same e equity and outcome. This creates mediocrity, loss of the middle class, loss of the middle class. Where have I seen that before? Uh, of innovation, uh, punish, you know, corporations are buying houses now. They're just buying them up so they can fucking Airbnb. Like the, literally the American dream, buying a house. They're going to take that away in this country. Uh, that reduces the tax money coming out into the government. Buddy, I can't fucking read all of this horse shit. This is everything that we're doing too. Capitalism. Okay, I'll get to the end here. Capitalism. Now, you know what? Let's just read all of this because it's fucking hilarious that he's acting like none of this is happening in this country. Um, 
And you know what's funny about people? You don't like it. Get the fuck out of here. This is my favorite thing ever. Yet you can look at your sports team and be like, what the fuck is this coach doing? And then nobody goes like, you don't want to go fucking root for somebody else. <laughs> no, I'm criticizing it because I love it and I want it to win. Yeah, this is a this is a great uh, segment. And, and I think Bill Barr does such a good job. Or sorry, Bill Burr, not ah. Bill Barr. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, that, that's like the fucking Trump dude. Anyway, um, <laughs> Bill Burr does such a great job here because like he communicates these ideas and these criticisms of capitalism in such a working class kind of way. It's not like you hear him bringing up freaking Marxist Leninism or whatever to make his point about capitalism being bad and being oppressive. He doesn't need to get into all of this like nitty gritty theory. He's just like, yo, all these problems that you're ascribing to this economic system is actually happening right here at home in the most hyper capitalist society ever fucking created. Um, and obviously, it's not to say that every country that uh, is nominally socialist is a perfect utopia. Of course not. They're not above criticism either. Um, but to say that, oh, so, I mean, again, you can critique socialism if you want, um, but then don't turn around and, and pretend like capitalism is a better alternative, right? Like, don't pretend like, oh, capitalism is everything's great here in a capitalist society. No, it's not. Ever been outside? Ever been to freaking West Virginia? You know, drive through fucking West Virginia. Or maybe go to Jackson, Mississippi right now. Tell me how well capitalism is working out for those fucking people. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 it's it, it's gotten to the point where I am. I mean, you know, what I do, I think it's great that this guy's making the point to his audience, to people who never have that shit, that point made to him. I think it's also, uh, you know, it shows that you know bill burr never lost his head in hollywood right like he's still looking at the world like a like a working class guy like you know like oh you know I, i'm just this like fucking redheaded i i think he's like from boston or whatever uh you know like uh this is this is uh how he still sees the world it's important because i think he you know sometimes um these ideas aren't made from people like him to his audience ever uh and so for him to just lay it out and lay it out in the way that he did which is to say that it would be like comical to disagree with him because it's just undeniable. Like uh, uh, you can't. Oh, so much homelessness. Like uh, what the fuck are you talking about? Like oh yeah, the the government is literally spying on us right now. Like the fuck do you mean they will read all of our text messages? They listen to any of our phone calls? Like this is what the fuck you've been fear mongering about? Anyway, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. If you haven't, go and listen to Bill Burr's rant on Philadelphia. It's a legendary legendary thing and, and it would supplement this quite well uh his best bit ever too come on guys we all know it's about maga communism now oh my god uh if i can oh i wonder if we have time to quickly play this uh th there's this clip of haas infrared who's like the founder of maga communism maga, MAGA communism um and he was like at a at a freaking trump rally asking asking some like random fucking trump supporter lady about maga communism and she was like she was like, ah, uh, that sounds like a, le a lie by the left. Uh, here, here you go. This is the reality of, of MAGA communism right. when you try to unite the working class around it. The big money, the big businesses are creating a corporate socialism to make sure the little guy never gets any prosperity to challenge him. Right, right. But what do you think about this new idea, which a lot of, you know, MAGA people are coming around to? crazy but it, they're calling it maga communism to fight the corporate socialism um like i said that is what the left is saying they make it up they uh, everything they say are most of them are lies and but it seems like from the people i talk to it's more conservative and it's not to have the government control everything but it's to make sure the government steps in and tells bill gates no you can't buy our farmland that's for farmers to grow food well, Bill Gates is going to be caught for uh, treason, and he, he'll he have to give back our land. Yeah. That will happen. And land should be for Americans, not for money. The big money, the big businesses. It's so funny because he'll, he's just, one, he's just straight up lying. Like, no conservatives. We've given t countless examples of every conservative that's proposed for this. There, anything with communism they don't want to hear about. They, you know, it's an ick word for them. Uh and uh yeah and he still is barking up that tree it's like it's a complete fucking farce but that almost unreal it's beyond parody it seems like it should be like a channel five kind of a dig but no this is out him him out there being like i'm sensibly trying to do this like oh my god unreal 
Yeah, super crazy. And and as someone in our chat, I guess we have a member of MAGA here now in 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 present in conversation. I am MAGA, and my life mission is to defeat you. <laughs> Full disclosure: MAGA communism can't be more idiotic. So here we have a real life MAGA in the flesh. Uh, <laughs>